What is going on everyone? It is the Phantom Michael and I'm bringing you the next episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation Let's Play. So guys, we have been kidnapped by Exen. We're at a prison on some island in the frozen tundra. Our Pokemon do not work. They are all locked inside this Pokemon. Now I really wish I'd had that damn egg. Um, I have Ringo the Kecleon with Slash Shadow Claw Side Beam Ancient Power. I have Falcon the Talon Flame Flame Charge Roost Quick Tech Peck. I have Eric the Vile Plume Mega Drain Growth Cut Acid. I have Gator the For Alligator Chip Away. Ice Fang Water Gun Crunch. I have War Wolf the Lycan Rock Rock Throw Stealth Rock Rock Two Minute Roar. And I have Hong the Hypno with Wake Up Slap Side Beam Synchronize. Okay. That is the squad. We're going to keep on going, see if we can figure it out. We still have our item finder. We found some pretty sweet items, not going to lie. Um, I do have some ability capsules that I'm thinking about popping off soon. I'm just trying to walk around and... There's another antenna. While I was on duty, this antenna fell straight on my head. It has to be from a space. There's no other place it would come from. Okay. Sweet. So that is that antenna. It's shattered. Good. Good. Good, good. Where does this lead me to? Hmm. Locked. Okay. You're not supposed to be on this side of the field. Get back to work. Hopefully things get lovely. Okay. You slimy bastard. Anything down here? Nope. Nothing down this way. Nope. No response. I didn't check up here, I guess. Four. Nope. Dang, I wish we could find some more hidden items, because this castle has some good ones. I want to go home. Oh. Gax Phantom, you don't look so good. Was the warden rough on you? Phantom, you know when I say scatter, that means scatter. Can't just stand around waiting to get caught. That's how people go to jail, yo. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't pulled out the antenna. If you didn't pull out the antenna in the first place. Huh, yeah, well, it's been replaced by now, so that's that. At least you could do is apologize to Phantom. Maybe later. I'm working on something right now. Yeah? What have you been messing around with for the past hour? There are details from my next invention. Not sure on the name, but I want Rose to be in the name. Maybe I could build this thing to get us out of here. It's probably not possible. Anyway, I'm curious. What did the warden tell you? Phantom explained. Alita is being tortured by Nivd? Val, I don't feel so good all of a sudden. Yeah, me too. Honestly, waiting for an opportunity to strike just isn't in the cards anymore. I think we should actively start trying to find a way out of here. I've been trying to say this for days, but you two were so set on waiting around. I told you that the place gave me a bad feeling and now something to someone's suffering. What would Alita do to get herself in this much trouble? I told her to, to behave. As if you're to tell anyone not to act stupid. You act stupid all the time, but you don't hear me complaining. That's enough. We're going to have to find Alita's whereabouts quickly. Well, we've been all around the castle. We haven't seen her anywhere. Perhaps some of the people around the castle may know something. Maybe we should talk to some someone of the people at the quarry. Sounds like a good idea. We should be careful, though. We're gym leaders, and after that, antenna stunt, we're probably on the watch list. Let's try to do this in a way where we will, where we all won't be sent into the torture room as well. Okay, so. Okay, got the whole gym leaders to back us up, I guess. Go to the quarry, we're going to try to talk to some peeps. Ask them if they see anything. Oh, my girl, Amelia, do you mean the girl with the purple hair? Yeah, I saw her pretty recently, actually. She might be in some sort of trouble, though. The warden was dragging her by her ponytail later. I saw the bow she had in her hair in his hand. Why isn't anyone coming to rescue us? Haven't someone noticed? You're absolutely right, bro. I'm here. I'm the phantom, and I bring the pain. I'm sick of breaking these stupid rocks. Okay, so you don't know nothing. Have you seen anyone with purple hair? Yeah, I've seen a girl with purple hair. Oh yeah, actually, she was on her way to the warden's office. I wanted, I waited to see what happened because I was curious, but she never came out. Okay. So 
she might still be in the woman's office. I truly wonder if Alita listened to what I said to remain calm. It seems she'd be the type of person to let her emotions get the best of her. Did you happen to figure out anything useful? Someone told you that she went to the warden's office and never came out. Then someone contradicted that by saying it's only to being dragged down some stairs. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, Alita has to be in some secret area somewhere in the castle. That being the case, there's not much we can do for her. But we will definitely rescue her when the time comes. Don't worry. We should group back up with the others, though. The day's about to be over. Where the hell are we all meeting at? Back in the damn thing, I'm assuming. There we go. But Val, I don't want to go to bed yet. We're not going to stay up longer when we have to. But Val, I don't want to go to bed yet. There's still so much to do. I mean, sleeping is for the people who don't know what to do with themselves. You won't be saying that when you'll need your strength to fight back. You're being far too reasonable right now, Val. It's making me sick. Can't we just have a snowball fight or something? I really don't want to go. Sako, why can't you just... Someone, please, I need warmth. I'm just going to screw in the castle area of sending guard location. What are you doing? What is your name? Please, I, I can't. I just need help right now. All right, all right. I'll take you to the ward and have him and have him interrogate you. What was that about? No idea. The officers told me that you were on a ship that crashed on its way to Neverwinter City. That, that's correct. And you said you've been swimming for an hour, hours worth. Yes. And you expect me to believe that you've been swimming in frigid waters for hours. I didn't do it alone. My Pokemon helped me to where I am now. But even my Pokemon could not handle the frigid waters for a long period of time. I see, well, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter much anyway. Unfortunately, you've seen far too much. I can't just let you go. Guards lock her up with the rest. Wait, before you decide to lock me up, please consider this offer. I'd like to help you with whatever you are doing here. What? Why should I consider such a ludicrous idea? I heard one of the guards say that this place was becoming more difficult to handle with each new resident. Guess what of it? Don't deny it. I have the guards to tend to. Rowdy prisoners. Why would I need a girl like you? Hmm. I can assure you that I am far stronger than any lowly guard you've hired here. Are you now? Can you face the cruel nature of this place? I couldn't care less about whatever it is that's going on here. This whole prison scene you have, who cares about it? Not me. I'll have to, you know, that I am only headed to Neverwinter because I needed work. Provide me with food and a warm bed and I'll be your personal assistant. I suppose you don't even really have anything to do with this. Fine, have it your way. But know this, you are not better than anyone imprisoned here. You simply have a small advantage over the rest. One misstep and I'll have you locked up like the rest. So, your first assignment. Day two. It's day two here. You there? Come pop it. Master Neve has asked me to bring this girl to you as a reminder. After her thorough rehabilitation, she has learned to speak only when spoken to. Or perhaps she's lost the will to speak at all. Nevertheless, this is the punishment given to those who refuse to adhere to Neve's command. Say hello to your old comrade, Poppet. Unfortunately for her and for us, she still needs a bit more work. We'll break through her pretty quickly, I presume. Anyway, I was also here to give you your first order of business. You are to on flower duty in the west wing of Bysor Field. From this moment on, passing through the right checkpoint will either result in warning or corporal punishment. Please be intelligent with your choices. That's all you have now, Poppet. Let us return. As for you, Miss Blackery, you'll be in charge of looking after Phantom after that recent incident with the antenna. Neve has to be very cautious with them. Understood? Oh gosh, this is super badistic. They saw her, right? We have to free her ASAP. Phantom, you should visit the library on the second floor. In one of the bookshelves, there's a book with a purple cover. Read it, and that's all we're going to say. After that, Come to Blacksburg Field, we won't have any time left. You ha have a brain, right? You aren't like Adam. You can figure this out. Okay. So I have to get upstairs, find this this daggum book. Okay. 
I did what you asked me to. Well, of course you did. So why her? Why is that girl so special? What exactly do you mean? Alita, what's the point in torturing her? Oh, that. Her father was a traitor. She deserves it. Are you that cold-hearted? I am when I have to be. I don't enjoy torturing people. Teenagers, for that matter. Do you think I enjoy her pain? It sure seems like it. Well, I don't. Torturing isn't me. What Natasha says goes. Why torture her and not her father? Her father has been dead for ages. Is that so? How would you feel if I tortured your daughter if someone told me to? I don't hate her. Whatever my boss says goes. Watch it, girl. I enjoy your presence, but don't speak out of line. My apologies. I just meant... I know what you meant to answer your question. I'll kill you slow. So if you understand the love that father has for his daughter, why? The whole reason I'm here is because I love my daughter. I joined the scene because of her. I'm confused. Why would you? My answer stopped there. Fair enough. One last thing. Though. Why are you just disabling the signal on the Pokeballs? Wouldn't it make more sense to confiscate them? Curious little laugh. Huh? They still have their Pokemon because Madam X wants it that way. Technology can fail, you know. That The moment that signal goes out, it's game over for this place. You're correct, but it isn't a matter of the place ends in a riot or not. Don't get me wrong. We're trying to prevent that at all costs. However, if it comes to it, we'll let it happen and fight back. What kind of place are you running here? I've never heard of a riot at a prison being okay. There are some things you simply just don't understand. And those things you aren't meant to understand, but fine, I'll humor you. What happens when a riot breaks out? People get hurt. Yes, people indeed become injured. It goes far and beyond that, though. So you want your prisoners to die? Whether or not they do or don't is irrelevant. Don't understand. Like I said, you aren't meant to understand. Anyways, you've done well, girl. I don't need you for a while. You're free to do whatever you please until further notice. I shall be in the West Wing then. Okay. Upstairs. Library. Here we are. Book with a purple cover. Book with a purple cover. There's a book with a purple cover right there. You found the book with a purple cover. They say that there is one thing you must do when the being of disaster and misfortune arrives. You must walk past it and hide yourself underneath the bridge of fortune. And only then, your shroud eyes from the eyes of the shadows. So I go to the bridge, I hide under the bridge? Is that what I'm saying? Is that what I'm getting at? There's a... Is that what I'm... Okay. Okay. Does this lead up here? Yes. Okay. There's a bridge. Oh. The bridge thing didn't work. Very well. I was supposed to hide. But that didn't work. Hmm. Can't read. I can't apparently I can't speak their tongue. I cannot speak the tongue. Huh. Where is... This is the correct area. I guess we're... Huh. Did I not understand the riddle? I guess I didn't understand the riddle. I did not understand the riddle. They say, if there's one thing you must do when the being of disaster and misfortune arrives, you must walk past it and hide yourself underneath the bridge of fortune. Only then will you shroud yourself from the eyes of the shadows.
read the thing. Is there more than one purple book? Okay, both here and it's clean. Long ago, in the kingdom of the lone queen looked over her land. She kept safe from harm. At any point of the adversary, the knight would protect the queen above all else. However, one threat they could not handle creeped up at their door. They were met his end and fell in battle, leaving his sword lifeless. The enemy presented the sword to her majesty as a symbol of their defeat. The queen would not allow hope to cease. She strung back her bow and shot her final arrow, thus ending the war. Hmm. Sweet. Come on now. We can figure this out. 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 After you read it, meet me over here at what she said. Hidden waterfall entrance would have been sweet. Oh, no hidden waterfall entrance. No hidden rock entrance. Where the hell is everyone? Oh, shit. Oh, my God, finally. I'm impressed you were able to solve that little riddle I came up with in five minutes. Sorry, but I couldn't risk... To oh, I get it. Freaking the disaster Pokemon app. So sorry, but I couldn't risk talking about this place out in the open. This place is a complete secret. Not even the ward knows about this hidden grove. We're also in a blind spot from all points of the castle, so we can do whatever we want. And as you can plainly see, there are no antennas back in this corner. You'll be able to safely use any of your Pokemon while back here. Gosh, why are you looking at me like that, Phantom? So menacing. Is it because we acted all coy about not being able to use our Pokemon properly? Alright, fine. You got me. We actually knew all about that beforehand, but we didn't want to just hand you all that information right off the bat. You could have been a creepy spy, stalker, or something. What would have happened to, to we told you the secrets? Bad things would happen. That's what. So you better forgive us. You know, Valerie and Anna both are, are have mining duty at the quarry, so it's just us. There's someone I want to introduce you. I'm sure you love to meet them. Uh. Well, that's who I wanted you to meet, but it looks like I, we've spoken them. spooked them. Is there a hidden? Oh, there's Pokemon back here too. Mighty Enos. Don't do that, you bastard. You son of a gun. You son of a gun. Meet Gator. Gator don't play no games, bruh. Gator don't play no games. Gator almost killed you. Got him. That was so embarrassing, Sokka. I didn't need anyone else to see me like that. Sorry, but we were sort of in a rush. Don't lie to me, Sokka. I saw you standing outside for a long time. I just didn't expect someone other than you or the others to show up when they did. You are the others to show up. Is that? Sigh, just relax, little geez. You're a Pokemon. It's cute. Anyway, I want you to introduce my friend Phantom. They're a part of our group now. Phantom, this is Brixton. Brixton, this is Phantom. Did you get permission from the others to do this? I know it's not easy to find this place, but a little cure courtesy would do wonders, girl. Yeah, yeah, I asked Valerie and Adam already. Would you stop worrying? Oh, and why is Phantom staring at me like that? Is there something on my face? No, I just don't think they're used to seeing Pokemon talk as well. Are you impressed? I built that cool translator for Brixton a while back. 
Anyway, you may be wondering why Braxton is back here all by herself. Well, this is because Braxton was abducted with us back in Akua Town. Um, Sokka, I think they got that part. I'm getting there, silly. Braxton actually isn't owned by anyone, but we have a Pokeball for her so that she can't be captured. Valerie turned Braxton into her ball right before they got us. If they caught Braxton as she was, we don't know what would have happened. Eventually, I found this place while on duty in Blackstone Field. We knew Brixton prefers to be outside her Pokeball, so we put her back here to hide. It was an appreciated effort, but I may as well be trapped when I'm back here. Well, at least the snow feels good on my feet. And I know what you might be thinking. Oh, wait. I know, I know. If you can use our Pokemon back here, why don't send them out there and bring them back to the castle? People who go into situations guns blazing usually just die in the end because they're not prepared. We all came to an anonymous decision to hold off any retaliation until we know we can pull it off perfectly. We're going to need the help of every trainer on this island. Val, Adam, and I may, and I may be gym leaders, but that's just stupid title we hold. We could all sh be shut down just as easily as anyone else on this island, you feel? I also remember the anonymous agreement we had to keep this place secret. Brixton, you can trust Phantom. It wasn't that sure either at first. I'm still not exactly sure, but Valerie trusts them, as do I. Well, alright. If Valerie trusts you, then I guess I can as well. About what I found, I guess this means I can tell you about what I found while back here. Yes, I was walking between the trees trying to find something useful when I came across seemed another castle. There's another castle on the island? Why would that be the case? I don't know, but it was all, almost identical to Black Steeple. There were a few differences, but that's something I couldn't exactly confirm. But that's not all. The castle was blocked off by a barrier. Yes, I wasn't certain myself, but then the warden walks towards it and touches it himself. I don't know why there was a barrier there or why there was even a castle to begin with, but it definitely exists and I'm not sure I like it. It gave me a terrible feeling. That's really weird. I don't think I've seen any way we can reach it by foot. That's weird though. I thought the warden owned this place. He can't enter his own property? Aw oh, shit. We've been gone for too long. Looks like they're looking for us. We gotta go now, Brixton. We'll visit again soon. Cool. I don't want to heal my Pokemon yet. Miss Black Green Phantom, where have you been? We've been looking at the Absol statue, sir. No big deal, homie. No big deal is wrong, Miss Blakery. I don't want you to causing us any more trouble you have. I want you to in my sights at all times. Got it? We got it, I guess. Good, now continue and complete the job you two were tasked to do today. She's such a weirdo, don't you think? At least say hi or something. You don't gotta be so mean all the time. Psh, Phantom, you should talk to her. In exchange, I'll do your work for you. Isn't that a fair trade? Is there something in particular you want from me? If you're just going to stand there and stare at me, then do it from a distance. I don't want to speak to you at all. Please move aside. And what makes you think you're better than any of? Because your Neve's little pawn doesn't mean you can go around acting important. I didn't even do anything. It was Phantom who approached me first. If anything, I'd prefer if you all just left me alone to my own devices. Likewise, it'd be a waste to spend time with someone so deplorable. I don't approve of what Neve's doing here, by the way. Does it matter? You're helping him anyway. Well, you know what? They say, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Just stop talking, Phantom. Let's go. You remind me of Neve, actually. You two are pretty similar. I'm going to give you five seconds to take that back. I'm nothing like me. You, are you sure about that, Valerie? You've shown nothing but hostility for the past few moments. You lose your temper way too easily. You take things far too personally. That's exactly how Neve treated me when, I, when he first met me. So yeah, pretty similar. Goodbye, you two. You're, there's nothing else you can say at the moment. Okay. I don't know who she thinks she is, but I'm nothing like me. Val, you should know better than to take some creep's word. Come on, let me smile. We got each other, don't we? Yeah, I know. That. Thanks, Sokka. Well, I think we're done for the day, right? 
yeah, let's get to this. Let's end this day. I think I've had enough of this. All right, fine. I guess we'll go in early tonight, and I guess I won't complain. Neve sounds like he's finally asleep. All the guards are patrolling the outer walls as well. Finally, an opportunity to do something snooping myself. There has to be something in this room that can be useful. Something that can tell me about the barrier surrounding the second castle. What her now? Now I gave her the secrets. Interesting, quite an interesting read though. the by the library. Okay, slower area. Hmm. Oh, wow. I'm a little surprised they would keep this book in the library. But something about these floor plans bother me, though. I can't exactly pinpoint why. If I should study this picture, I may be able to figure something out. Yeah, it's because there's a hidden bookcase. Hidden door somewhere up here. Now that I mention that. These floors are really scuffed. In a specific and circular way, too. I wonder. Hell yeah! So, what do you want to do with me now? Haven't you all tortured me enough? I already told you I don't know! Oh, it's just you. Yes, it's just me. What didn't you know? What? You said you told Neved that you didn't know. What didn't you know? He asked me if I knew what my father was up to. If I knew he was part of Team X, or if I was plotting with him, but I didn't know he was with them until the very end, and even then he wasn't with them. Neve didn't believe me, so he used electricity to try to get me to talk. I'm so sorry. Are you, though? You showed me off like I was some sort of freak to Phantom and the others. You seem pretty proud of yourself then, so why not now? I'm not your enemy. You aren't my ally either, so just what are you? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go find my friend. Oh shoot, our time's almost up. Our time's up, I'm gonna call it right here. All right, you guys, if you, this plot is thickening so much, I think we're almost out of this dungeon, so yeah. If you guys enjoyed, please smash the like button. Your support is always greatly appreciated. With that, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. I will see you in the next one.